Back in 1973, see, I started on Lozon Road in the community center on Lozon Road. And I probably had maybe, maybe 10 to 15 students at the time. So this is something I wanted to try on the side. At the time I was working at Chrysler's, so this is something I just wanted to do on the side. Our school was growing and I was getting laid off a lot at Chrysler's. In fact, I was laid off more than I was working. So I said, well, I'm gonna try this martial arts, see if I can do it full time. So I went out and I, and I, and I opened another karate school out in Essex. And I opened a third one in, at the Oakwood Community Center. And that's when the school started to grow. Anywhere between 80 students to well over 600 students. So we got really big. I was probably about eight years old at the time. And uh, I was one of those shy kids, get picked on by the bullies and that. So I just took a little bit of boxing with a guy named Harry Marshall. And on the other half of the gym, there was these karate guys doing the kicks and punches. And that's what caught my interest. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more to it than kicking and punching. There's the life skills. There's the life skills where we try to help the kids with their self-discipline, with their concentration, with their focus, with the respect. So there's a saying that we use in the karate school. I want to be able to focus their eyes on the person who's talking. And they have to focus them on it everything that that person is saying. One of the big ones I would say too is their self-discipline. Can they do things around the house without being told? You know, just getting home after school and doing their homework without their parents reminding them or cleaning up their own room without their parents reminding them. When they start doing it on their own, that's what we mean by self-discipline. Like I can remember having uh, a young guy, his name was Vikram at the time, and he was really, really shy, having a hard time. He didn't even want to come into the karate class. It was his older sister went on to become a doctor. Now he's one of the top doctors in the London area. So whether they compete or if it's just their life skills that, that, that they developed over the years have helped them with school or helped them with their job. And, and I always say, you know, if I can help just a little bit, you know, to help the teachers and help the parents, you know, just to be part of that triangle and uh, watch some of these kids to grow up into these young adults, that's, that's quite the accomplishment. My son, uh, He's a black belt, my daughter's a black belt. My son became a world karate champion and my grandkids now are black belts and I'm just working on the youngest one right now and my wife's a black belt and my daughter-in-law, she's a black belt so our whole family's been involved for quite a while. It's, it's really cool, you know, having the whole family involved in the martial arts. To get nominated uh, for the Hall of Fame, especially for Windsor, your hometown, uh, that was quite the thing. So I was just, well, so thrilled over something like that. Just to, to actually be in the Hall of Fame with some of these athletes and some of these other coaches, and that's like, wow, that was quite the surprise. You know, there's, there's nothing like having a parent come into the school with their kids that I taught the parents back in the 1980s. And you know, they're coming in now to bring their young ones in. They're into my little dragons programs, and it's, it's amazing, you know, over the last 30 years, that's quite an accomplishment.